guys so this is my second time making these type of chicken wings in this air fryer and they were bomb you guys like restaurant bomb chicken wings i am so excited about this air fryer i cannot i can't say it enough what's up beautiful people so look at this lady i'm with she having a horn blowing match with this can y'all see that let me see if y'all can see with that truck right there behind us okay so it was a weird exit, like stop sign. It was like four stop signs. Your grandma was like, do I stop here? We on, we downtown. We don't really come down here like this. My mama was raised down here, but it's so different. So the person behind us starts to blow while my mama is stopping at the stop sign. They beeping the horn. Maybe they felt like we didn't have to stop there. We don't know. But pretty grandma right here, this lady right here, this went pretty grandma, 70, pretty, pretty grandma. They blew at her. And instead of her like, oh, okay, my bad, let me go. She stops like this. Oh, really? And waits and waits. Oh, mama, can you please go? And waits. And then before she goes, bye. While we drive, I said, pretty grandma, I'm not trying to get hurt off your road rage. Can we please just go? <sighs> you scared now. Hold on, now pretty grandma said they scared. What you talking about? They don't know what I got. Mama, you don't got nothing in here but some pepper spray. Lord, your key in, in the water. Why is it? Yes. Maybe that's what's wrong with it. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, guys. Salam says she is about to color her hair. It looks like it was gray, but it wasn't. She's about to color her hair, and she needed some help with the parting. Salam, look at the beautiful people, please. You are a beautiful person, too. Y'all look at my muggy moo. I'm, I'm my baby girl. Hey, Muggy. You gonna show us the after? Alright, y'all. Okay, so, this is the outcome of her black hair. So pretty. I'm about to blow dry for her. Salam, be quiet. Why you always... Why you always in my mama food? That's what you get. I'm gonna swallow that seed. It has very, very good benefits. What's the benefits? Detox. Bad <sighs> I missed my shot. Okay, this is my last one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your hair look pretty. You look like the girls on my um picture. Or she look like me. <gasps> oh, you put that one all the way there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay. Pretty grandma and salon are dressed just alike, but pretty grandma can't be seen right now. I got two outfits, mom. Real outfit. I just put sweatpants over. Salon. This is a bodysuit. They don't want to see that. Hating. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to watch no <laughs> basketball game. Oh, SVU. Yeah, that's on channel three, but I just I'd rather can't watch game. that. Oh, there you go. Number 11. <sighs> Why let's does she it. still like basketball? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want oh, to watch no basketball game. Oh, SVU. Yeah, that's on channel 3, but I just. I'd rather watch no basketball game. I just seen it. Oh, that's on channel 3, but I just. I'd rather watch that. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, my God. Well, there's there's a comic coming up. Oh, there you go. Number 11. Why does she it. still like basketball? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Look at my beautiful children. Hey, guys. Did y'all have fun? Yeah. Ethan, you look so cute. Can we see your outfit up close? Y'all, guess what pretty grandma got me cooking? What? Collard greens. Oh, heck no. <laughs> what? Why? I already put them on. Have you cooking the collard? Because your lazy tail not going to do nothing. Do you know how? She walked me through it. I'm out of call her. She's now. at work. Leave my mother alone. She called me, asked me to send pictures of my hair to show her people at the <laughs> at her co her coworkers. So I'm going to call. So um, leave my mom alone. So I don't even know what coworkers are. At her job. <laughs> Ethan, come here. Yeah, I'm calling. Do not call my mama at work. Why does it turn the TV on? Why is Terry Campbell making the collard greens? 
I'm just playing by pretty. I know. I was just playing with her. Bye, Ethan. Bye. Then Ethan looks so cute, y'all. He's so adorable. Young boy, Dago, you better stop dissing them. Tell them and they know the likes. What what happened? You did that, girl. You don't I know how to not. work this. You don't know how to work the new remote. Press cable and then TV. Ma, don't tell me. Cable and then TV. You don't tell me what to do. And then don't do it again. Just give it a second. Cable TV. I pressed it. It don't work. Yes, it. Give it here. Cable TV. It don't. Work. Oh, it's cable and power. Ooh. My bad. <clears throat> yeah. You are annoying. I'm catching you. Ethan. So what y'all do? Come here. Did you like the restaurant? Shut up. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to be done. Oh, you gonna come tell me? Uh, he's so private. Tell the beauty people bye, Salam. Bye. Tell them bye, Ethan. Bye, bye. All right, y'all. Yeah. You trying to skip my ad? Because do, you don't want nobody skipping your ad. Don't try to skip my ad. Tell my word a remote. I'm looking at my Christmas video. What's up, my beautiful people? So, I don't know if this is gonna be like a new video or if it's going to be my second video or I don't know because I already have some footage for another video but I think I just want to make this a long vlog or something well I have some news okay so y'all can see Amber like fix my hair for me because it has been looking a hot mess she refused to add more so it's looking thin but it's all good I haven't been swimming in two days um, God willing, I'm going to be back tomorrow, but I probably won't swim like I did the other day because it kind of hurt my back. Anyways, <clears throat> let me tell you. So, everybody know the comedian Monique. So, let me give you a little backstory about Monique. So, Monique, from me and my sister used to watch the Parkers when we were little. We loved the Parkers. We laughed at the Parkers. The Parkers was like our show. After Moesha, it was the Parkers. And we enjoyed the Parker so much that I actually still watch it on Netflix. True story. <laughs> y'all, I'm sure y'all have seen it on my TV in some videos. So, um, but like I, I've never been to a comedy show. And the reason why I don't go to comedy shows, you guys, is, you know, I know comedy shows, like, you know, they have a lot of cursing and things like that. And I just don't really go to comedy shows because I'm not like the person that want to hear a lot of cursing. However, and I still don't, but... Um, but I love Monique, you know, you, you just have the, the people who you watched when you were young and who you watched, you know, you don't have to be when you were young, just people that you watch and you laugh with and you, you know, you grow a love for certain people that you don't know, but you still just like have love for them. Everybody has somebody like that. So anyways, um... So she was having something going on in her life um, right now, which I didn't really know much about it, but my sister did, and I'm not even going to discuss it. So there ain't no purpose of trying to discuss it in the comments because I'm not going to discuss it. Don't have anything to do with me, but I'm just saying what I'm about to tell you. So whatever she had going on, which like I said, I didn't really know about, my sister had sent her um, a comment in her uh, comment section. And Tracy was like, this was like a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. Tracy was like, my sister Tracy. She was like, even though you can stand alone, I stand with you. And Monique commented back. And then um, it was just really sweet that she commented back. My sister was like, oh, she commented back. You know, it was so sweet. It just, it touched her heart that my sister said that. And Tracy, you know, wasn't thinking much of it. But my sister stands for, you know, black women. She's always going to... Um, stand for her sisters that's just that's just us um so after that monique later messaged tracy sent her dm and tracy was in complete shock she offered her um four tickets and backstage passes to her show so my sister is extremely shy and she doesn't really go anywhere y'all know tracy don't be on camera tracy ain't trying to hear that um, but she asked me to go and I'm going and I'm excited to go with my sister and I'm just really, really excited to go do something with my sister. Um, I pray that, you know, we enjoy it. Um, it would be cool if we can get a picture or just like see her, but I don't know about that because I don't know how that works with like recording or, um, you know, I don't know how that works, but I'm going and I'm going to take y'all with me. 
Um, don't know what I'll get to show y'all, but hopefully y'all will see something. But I love you guys. And so I did get my hair done. I got my nails um, redone. I got my toes done. And um, I am ready to get cute. Can't fit the dress that I wanted to fit yet. I was a little disappointed with that. I really wanted to wear this dress. But the good news is, in January, I could not get it over my shoulders. It's over my shoulders and I can put both arms in it. I couldn't do that in January. I literally put both arms in it, but it stopped right here. You know, the my breasts gotta go down some more. But they always do. But I've been talking long enough. It's almost four minutes and this video, is, I don't want it to be too long. So I will see y'all in a little bit. I'm about to go walk and get me some cardio in, some steps in, and I will talk back with y'all later. God bless y'all. Real quick, I just want to show y'all, I am the biggest crybaby. I am so emotional. I cry for happy things, sad things. Yesterday, I was crying because I was watching America's Got Talent when I was getting my nails done. And the people whose dreams came true, like a lot of these kids had really sad stories. And they hit the buzzer right after they performed. And I was so happy that their dreams were coming true. It made me cry while I was getting my nails done. Um, Just was crying again. Um, watching Chicago PD while I wait for Mickey to get here so we can walk. Um, thought Trudy died. Trudy didn't die. Trudy came out, you know, helping. And, man, it made me cry. Like, is anybody like me? I really want people to, um, like, I have a love for people, man. I do. I don't ever think it's too late for anybody. I really don't. Um, but I do get upset when people do things. But I, I try my best to, I just know that, you know, we're all the same. I mean, people may think they're better than other people, but honestly, if you want to be real, we're all a hot mess. <laughs> Every single one of us on this earth is a hot mess. Your hot mess may be something a little different, but still we're all a hot mess. Like, do you lie? Do you overeat? Are you greedy? Do you cheat on your spouse? Do you steal? Even if it's something small, do you like, you know, see a dollar and steal it? Or do you take something without asking that's not yours? Like, we are all a hot mess and we all need God's grace and God's mercy and God's um, forgiveness. We all need to be repentant. So please don't get out here in this world and think that you're better than other people because you don't have nothing major going on. Baby, we all got something going on. Um, and God knows it. So you might can fool some people, but you ain't fooling a man. Not the big one. <laughs> I love y'all. I just had it. I don't. I don't even know how this story switched to that, cause that wasn't the plan. I was just telling y'all how I am a big cry baby and how I get emotional for people because I have a love for people, and I think it just went. You know, y'all y'all know me. Y'all know how I do. But um, I love y'all. I I truly love y'all, man. And I I pray that y'all are, you know, living your life to serve God. And I pray that. You know, you really truly get your heart's desires because if the Bible says that God will give it to you, I want you to get it. And I want you to serve him as well. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go because I got to walk and I don't got time to keep running my mouth talking. It's already almost three minutes. Bye. All right, guys, so I am dressed. And this is the thing. Y'all have not seen this shirt right here since 2020 because my petite couldn't fit it, y'all. Like, I could not get my arms in it, but by the grace of God, we are down and we're doing good and we can fit this shirt. Now, I'm going to be honest, I did not, I mean, I wasn't planning on wearing this shirt. I really wanted to wear this dress. Um, I have these two dresses, but they're still, they're not fitting. But um, I know I'm probably like, maybe like 25 pounds from wearing this shirt. I mean, wearing the, the dresses. So, hopefully, I'll get the 25 pounds off and I'll get back into those dresses. So, I have on this black shirt. You guys have seen this before. Well, it's been, look, I got makeup in my hair. Um, but I have the same skirt I wore about three weeks ago to Jalil's graduation. The one where the guy told me the the waist <laughs> take my waist trainer off. I put it on because it was just easier to put it on. I really wanted to wear like the dress, like I said, and I couldn't find the jeans that I was gonna wear with another shirt, so I just put this on. So I'm gonna show y'all. Look at my pictures. They're so pretty. I look just like my girls. Hey. I should be up there like, oh, let me see what type of face they're making. Or they're making serious face. So I gotta be like this. <laughs> I'm being silly. But anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all what I have on. It's not my favorite, but it is what it is. All right, so as y'all can see, 
I have this little skirt on again. I wore it three weeks ago, like I told you. So this is a skirt. I have these heels on again. And I have my shirt with my puffy sleeves. So y'all can kind of see what Mama T is looking like. And my bathroom is kind of dirty, so it's all good. Maybe somebody will take a picture of me tonight and you'll get to see my outfit, you know, up close. But this is what I am wearing to the comedy show. All black. All black. So I feel cute. You know, I feel okay. Amber curled my hair. Why did I have to get makeup in my hair? Amber had um, got my hair back looking good because, y'all, my hair was looking a hot mess. But this is what I'm wearing. So next time y'all see me, I'll either be in the car with my friends or, um, I don't know, in the comedy show. I don't know. Y'all pray for my particular. Y'all know I don't like cursing. Not that I never cursed before because I did. But I just worked really hard not to, you know, curse like that. So... But that's the look. That's the fit. Monique. <laughs> Y'all look who I got. <laughs> Y'all, me and Trina here. Tracy and Sheena already went inside, so we better go now. Okay. So. We made it to the show. All right, you guys. So, as you can see, we were so excited. We had our little backstage passes, honey. We were so blessed to be the guest at Monique. We were so happy. And we got there really early because we wanted to make sure we got our tickets, our seats, and everything. And I didn't know if we could record in there, so I wanted to be respectful. People were jamming. People were dancing. And we just had a really good time um, with each other. And then it's like once Monique came out, right before she came out, it's like a slew of people just came in. It, they, everybody was cheering. It was so many people just enjoying themselves, laughing and dancing and standing up. Of course, my camera went sideways like it always does, but um, I did not record her show because, you know, you're not supposed to record their shows like that. And she made sure she said it um, before the show, not here, but I saw it on Instagram. So I was like, I'm not recording her show, but we had a really, really good time. And she was really sweet after the show. Y'all know Mama T is not the person that goes out. So I got home so late. Um, I actually watched church online this morning because I got home so late. But it was a really, really good sermon. I really wish I was there. But I don't know, y'all. My back is hurting so bad. Um, I already got up and did my um, exercises, my stretches. So it's fine now. It's like after the stretches, I'm, I'm, it's better. So. I don't know if it's the swimming, the exercise. I must have heard it or pulled it somehow. This happened to me before. So I'm just trying to, you know, get it straight. But last night, we just had a really, really good time um, with each other. And um, I want to go see my sister Kim today. My niece Jaquela is in town. Um, and I want to go see her before she goes back to Greensboro. So me and Salam might go do that together. But she wants to go take some pictures with her friend. So I might um, end up going by myself. I need to like straighten up my house. It's a hot mess. i am be honest with y'all today, y'all. I want something sweet. I want sweet frog. I haven't had it in over a month. Um, I know. And I'm supposed to wait Tuesday. I know. I'm supposed to wait Tuesday, y'all. But I want sweet frog so bad. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I really try to eat lots of vegetables. And yes, my house is a mess. So stuff there stuff there yeah i need to clean up but um if i get it i'm gonna be honest and show y'all if i get it um salam is telling me not don't get it mama and i you know i just y'all i just feel like this is the thing for me i'm gonna be honest with y'all so like yesterday um oh my goodness one of my facebook friends sweet as pie mary johnson um she's the one that did my mom's um birthday party a couple years ago i think i shared that with y'all 
But um, she does dessert. Beautiful and delicious dessert. She made my birthday cake. I'm going to show y'all some of the things she made. She decorated. Her and her sisters decorated for my mom's party. And she did my birthday cake. And she just makes beautiful cakes. I'm going to show you. Hey, Mary, this is Mary. Shout out. Y'all, if y'all live in the Fayetteville area, I don't know how far Mary travels, but she does amazing cakes and sweets and desserts and is blessed. And I'm about to, um, I'm going to put her information, her Facebook in my description. So if you want a cake, reach out to her. She is awesome. But you guys, I just want to share like, so she made some cookies um, salted caramel and those things look so good. And I was just telling her how good her cookies look. And she actually was like, come get one. You know, like, come get some cookies. I got some extra. I made a fries day. And as of yesterday, I was like, oh my goodness. Like I wanted a cookie so bad, but I was like, y'all, I'm being strong, Mary. Um, but next time I have a cheat, I'm gonna do it. So I didn't do it yesterday. I was strong. I was not planning on you know eating anything like that. I, I eat fruit all the time. But like last night and like today, I just really wanted some type of dessert. And I'm definitely not going to call her like, hey, do you see those cookies? But <laughs> I'm going to try to um, get something else. So I might just have today where I do that. And then, oh, God willing, tomorrow I just get right back at no desserts like that. You know, maybe for another month. Because y'all know I've said that I'm not going to say I'm never going to eat things. But I'm going to be... Um, very limited, not have sweets every week, not have desserts every week. Definitely not be getting sweet frog once a week or twice a week, three times a week. Because y'all know when I do sweet frog, I go in. I be wanting like. So um, I'm going to make my make sure I exercise, but I think I will probably have a dessert and I'm going to push back my weigh in for another week because I really want to see um, me lose a pound. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you have a blessed Sunday, and I hope you have a blessed rest of the week, you guys. Make sure to be kind. Think about others. Think about how you treat others. Think about just being forgiving to others, you guys. Forgiving people does not mean that you have to just accept whatever they do and you don't take up for yourself. But forgiving means you're not holding on to the anger. We have to hold on to that. We have to not hold on to the anger and bitterness when people upset us, when people hurt us, when people make us mad. So remember to walk in forgiveness. Give people grace and be kind. Y'all hear my loud daughter and be kind to one another. We have to uplift each other, love one another, give people chances, you guys. Um, you don't have to hold those grudges. You don't have to be angry for long. You just let it go. Doesn't mean you have to be their best friend, hang out with them. You don't have to call them every day, but let it go. Be forgiving, but don't let people mistreat you. Don't let people use and abuse you, but you have to let things go and you're letting it go for you. Okay. You're letting it go for you. You're letting it go because you love the Lord and you're going to walk um, like Christ. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I love you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful week. Be safe. God bless you all. And I'll see you in the next video.